Minecraft, music by C418, including a number of great tunes available on record discs that you can only get by having skeletons shoot creepers. I know what I want to do today, but before we do that, we're also going to need to do some unfinished business in the nether. So let's get started. Hello, and welcome back to Exploration and Tactics with Brian. And for today, there's a number of kind of miscellaneous tasks that I would like to take care of. Um, one thing that I think I want to do, that I just haven't done yet, is to fight some mobs at night, uh, and do some record farming. Uh, just because I haven't created a jukebox yet in this world, and it would be super cool to get all the records, so that if I do have another building project, and I want to listen to music while I'm doing it, I could have the jukeboxes with the different records, uh, and so that could be fun. Another thing that I want to do that I think I mentioned at the end of the last episode is to go back to the fortress and see... I don't think we explored all of the fortress and see if there actually is a blaze spawner there anywhere. And uh, if there is, then farm a few more blaze so that I can get some blaze powder and create some more ender eyes. And so that is another thing that I would like to do. And I guess I've kind of blocked off my way to get into the nether fortress right now. And so I guess you can't put, you can put torches on top of glass now, but you can't put them actually up against the glass. But I think maybe the most convenient thing for me to do here would just be to go ahead and break in right here as kind of my step down into the fortress. And hopefully there's no lava around that's going to... I had the half slabs over here because I didn't want zombie pigmen. There's a few places where the pigmen could spawn, but I didn't want them spawning kind of in my protected area uh, that's kind of outside of the nether proper. Um, but yes, let's go take a look. Actually, I've explored a bit of the fortress, and so I'm going to go walk back to the edge that I haven't explored, and I'll meet you guys over there. All right, well, I don't think I've gone this way. This is also an opportunity to collect some glowstone, although I don't have a silk touch pick or... Uh, a fortune pick on me right now, and so I will break through just enough in order to kind of get through that section of the fortress. But it seems like perhaps... Oh, frame rate issues. Welcome to the nether. Uh, it seems like perhaps the fortress is going to go a bit this way, or maybe it's just going to dead end. Or maybe I'm going to have a dead end when all of a sudden the game just like completely freezes up on me for no reason because I happen to be in the nether. Oh dear, come on, Minecraft. All right, it seems like... This might be the end of the fortress over here, and so let me go find another direction. I found what I'm looking for. You can just see it up there. I'm pretty sure that is a blaze spawner. And while this will not be enough torches to disable it, it will be enough torches to kind of have fewer of them spawn. And I'm going to get set on fire. I have a water bucket. That's not really going to help me here in the nether. All right, and so basically, yeah, my strategy is... All right, that might still be spawning. I'm pretty sure I'm far enough away over here that they're not going to spawn. Um, yeah, and my armor... Yeah, my armor's still in good shape, and I am regaining health. I don't need to eat yet. All right, and so basically the plan is, now that I have a few torches in there, they'll hopefully only spawn in kind of ones and twos, and I have the good fortune of being in... Uh, a little spawner area over here that is relatively enclosed. Uh, so they're not going to get away from me and I don't have to worry about getting knocked off the sides into nowhere. Uh, and different things like that. And so any moment now, we will see another blaze or two and I can just try to kill them. Alright. And yes, eventually I should try to find another blaze spawner at some point. Uh, and attack it like this and see if I can manage to... Ugh! Alright, he's doing melee damage to me. Ooh, and fire damage now. Basically, see if I can kind of like overtake the blaze spawner by placing lots of blocks and not manage to get hit at all, because that would be really good practice for UHC if I ever did another run in UHC. Because um, in Ultra Hardcore, if you do manage to get a potion stand and can make some potions, um, that can totally change... Uh, your outcome. And I already did get, yeah, I got one blaze rod there. And so I guess let's try to get like, I don't know, four or something would be a nice number to have uh, so that I actually have some blaze powder to work with. And yes, it seems like I have enough light that the last two times it's only spawned one. I think with this amount of light, it's probably only likely to spawn one or two blaze because I think they require like light level 12 or something. 
And so kind of like the torch and right next to the torch are areas where the blaze can't spawn. And so there's, I don't know, probably 50% of the blocks around here are available for, bah, available for blaze spawns. All right, spawn me another one. I'm ready for you. Hello. There you go. Yeah, and if you're right here, like right at the moment that he spawns, uh, it seems like he doesn't have enough warm-up time to actually start shooting fireballs at you before you have a chance to kill him with an iron sword. Um, however, they can. They have a very powerful melee attack, uh, which is something that people don't always realize about Blaze. And so if you're right up in their face hitting them, they can also hit you back. Um, and the melee attack is nothing to sneeze at. And the last two blaze that I killed, I think, did not drop any... Oh, I have two blaze rods at this point. I think let's go ahead and knock out one of the torches and just hope to get a few more blazes going here. I might get two spawning at a time, but even that, I'm pretty sure I could still handle without dying. I can always run away if I need to. I just ate food, so I'm in good shape there. Oh, yeah. Like a boss. And I don't think I got... Yeah, I still only have two blaze rods. All right, I might make a cut here because I do want to get a few more, but I don't know. Oop. All right, with two, it might be more exciting. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Once you're on fire, apart from at some point running away, like, there's no reason at that point not to go ahead and kind of, like, finish killing off enemies. It's the same thing with cave spiders. It's like, once you get poisoned by cave spiders... You know, until your hearts get really low, you might as well fight off some more cave spiders and light things up. Because once you're poisoned, you can't get more poisoned. Once you're on fire, you can't get more on fire. Uh, and so to an extent, um, having those negative effects on your uh, person in Minecraft can actually be an advantage. Because at least for a short temporary time, until you get in dire straits with your health, uh, you're kind of immune to that particular t attack again. Um, yes, and so don't panic. I guess is the moral of the story there. And I think I just picked up another blaze rod. Oh, I'm up to five already. All right, that's good enough for now. Um, there is still much more to this fortress to explore, not to mention the fact that it kind of like opens up into the nether proper, and I have seen a bunch of accessible glowstone around here. Actually, just kind of like the hallway that I just came down uh, to reach the blaze spawner over here. Somewhere back over here. Yeah, I have my little torch trick to say that uh, way back is this way. But if I run through over... No, wait. Did I put that in the wrong... Did I just go the wrong way? What did I just do? I went the wrong way. <laughs> I have torches pointing on the way home, and I just completely took the wrong tunnel. Um, yeah, there's like more glowstone down a hallway over here. This is also the... Not that I have tons of experience in fortresses, but it's the tallest fortress I've seen, because notice we're up here. I go down a stairway, and then I go down a stairway... And then I go down a stairway, and you can guess what's going to happen next, right? Can you guess? I'll give you a clue. It involves me coming over here, and then going down a stairway. Um, yeah, and so there are four stairways kind of like almost right in a row, and so this thing's like at least four stories tall. I don't know enough about the kind of like algorithm that spawns the fortresses uh, to really understand exactly what their structure looks like. Um, but yes, that's kind of like the tallest fortress that I've encountered in my own experience. I don't know if other people have different experiences in Minecraft thus far. And here is my incomplete stairway back up to my portal. And I cannot use this stairway as it is because there's a block in my way. And I can't remember if I break this block. No, there's still glass there. I'm still safe. Okay, great. Um, yes, and so now is an opportunity to drop off our blaze rods over by the potion stand. What time of day is it over here? Oh, it's nighttime now. Just became night. Um, yes, and so... Right, well, if it's nighttime, actually... Well, I kind of want to have my spawn over here if I'm going to be doing record farming out in the middle of the night. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sleep for the night up here. I'm going to drop off some inventory. And, yeah, I will see you guys again in a moment. Item repair! Do, 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 do. I really enjoy that. I just like to sing. 
All right, I think I'm going to go to that beach where I was getting sand for all the glass when I built the kind of railway through the nether. Um, I think that will be a good place to fight bad guys at night in order to try to do some record farming, to try to get some skeletons to shoot some creepers. Uh, but since it's still daytime, the other thing I noticed is I do not have pretty much any coal over at this base. And so my plan is I'm going to head over there, uh, over near the beach. I am going to bring my fortune pick along, and while it's still daytime, I am going to just dig down and try to uh, dig up some coal. And uh, then when it turns nighttime, we'll fight some bad guys. And I thought I had a boat over here on one of the docks, uh, but perhaps I do not, because I want to sail over there. So I'm going to go make myself a boat, and I will see you guys over there. I changed my mind a little bit. So there was this big sandy beach where I was mining out the sand, but I was trying to flatten it out to make it a nice, perfectly flat landscape. And it occurs to me if I try to do any record, far record farming, I'm probably going to have some creepers explode and kind of just uh, poke holes in it. And so there's a desert right over here, kind of across the water from it. And so I think this will actually be a better place to do record farming from the point of view of I don't mind if the creepers, you know, explode and mess it all up. I can imagine wanting to build something out on that beach uh, at some point in the future. And so I think it's not quite big and flat enough, but I think this will do. We'll try this out for record farming tonight. Ooh, there's another jungle over there. We'll be able to try to look for another temple at some point. Um, but yes, that's what we'll do at night. It is still the middle of the day. And so for the middle of the day, I'm going to go see if I can find some easy coal. And the way I'm going to do that is simply to dig, dig, dig. Um, and coal is extremely easy to find. And once I do find a pocket of it, I will break out... Oh, there's some coal right there. And a cave system. Imagine that. Once I find the coal, I will simply break out the fortune pick and go like this. Ba-doom, 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 ba-doom. And in no time, I will have lots and lots of coal. Uh, but I won't do anything else that's too exciting uh, because we are really out here to do record farming at night. And so I will keep an eye on the time. I actually put a clock back in my inventory so I know what time it is when I'm underground. Oops. And I hear a zombie, but other than that, it looks like it's pretty safe down here. All right, so I'm going to make a cut, and I'll see you guys at night. All right, so that wasn't long. We're back up here at night. I have a couple of torches just right out here in case I need uh, kind of a more spawn-free area. In case I really get into trouble, I can try to run back and escape over here. I also leveled out kind of the playing field a little bit by uh, using my super-efficient shovel on some sand which also allowed me to gather some sand. But I already see a skeleton who has spawned over here. And I should know this, uh, but I forget. Do enemies take four hits with an iron sword? So I think I can hit the creeper three times, and then he will be sufficiently weak that then if the skeleton shoots him, uh, it would destroy the creeper. And another thing that just occurred to me is, since I haven't really lit up any cave systems around here, I guess I've lit up a little bit underneath this ocean over by the beach. Um, I won't be getting nearly as many spawns of mobs on the surface as I would if I were doing this back over in my home desert where I've kind of lit up everything under the surface. Wow, there's an Enderman over there. I'm not out to fight you tonight, Mr. Enderman. And so I hope I'm going to get enough mob spawns that this will actually be successful, but we'll find out in a moment. Um, so far it's only... Oops! <laughs> Apparently a spider spawned somewhere. And managed to stay very quiet because I did not even hear him until he snuck up on me. Crazy spider! Uh, there's a skeleton and a creeper. Okay, now we're in some business. So, if a skeleton deals the killing blow to a creeper, um, then good things happen and you get a record. And so definitely three hits is not enough. Or, sorry, two hits by my sword is not enough. But there we go. Unfortunately, I think that's cat and not far. And, of course, I already have cat. I have cat and eleven because you can find them in dungeons. And, indeed, that is cat. Uh, so that's one of the commonest records, and I already have that one. And so we will try this again and hope to get a different record. And in the meantime, I will go ahead and kill off the non-creeper and skeleton mobs uh, that I don't need kind of taking up the spawn space. But yes, now that it's gotten darker, we definitely have more enemies spawning. Got a bunch of spiders over here, and so let's see if we can take care of them. And then here's a creeper. One, two... Oops, crap. Ah, skeleton, do you see what you did... You shot me right over into the creeper so that he exploded. That was not how that was supposed to go. So I was angry at that skeleton, and so he had to die. Um, I won't be... Like, I'm not OCD about these things, but I'm worried about the train being bad in terms of me backing up and all of a sudden falling in a hole, and so I'll at least do that to get it... 
somewhat even from a terrain point of view before I try to continue. All right, but let's go find another creeper and skeleton and try to get them together so they can make beautiful music together. Oh, and in the meantime, I'll probably also not get a ton of levels, but get some levels. All right, there's skeletons. Oh, I thought that was a creeper and it's a zombie. Here's a skeleton and a creeper. Great. Records, records, records. Brian wants to get records so that he can create jukeboxes and listen to music. All right, this will be non-trivial based on the position of this creeper. Darn it! I knew that was going to happen. I shouldn't try to get two hits on a creeper at once, because uh, I end up staying too close to them. I should just get one hit, possibly with knockback, and then back off in order to keep the creepers alive. Um, yes. All right, that would be a better strategy. This hole I could jump out of pretty easily, so don't worry about it too much. Don't see creepers over there. Got a skeleton over there. Got zombies over there. Need to find me another creeper. And yes, I know there's various ways that you can do kind of automated record farming uh, by building kind of contraptions that kind of help uh, pen in the skeletons and the creepers. All right, I don't yet have a skeleton available, but let's imagine that I will in the future. I should really be using knockback. And I should make sure that I knock back the creeper somewhere that he can actually back up and not just into a wall. All right, so I think that creeper is now primed. And so while he's following me around, now I just need to find a skeleton to pair him with. He's still following me. And yes, yeah, so I have a little bit of practice of doing this uh, in other worlds. Um, yeah, like I said, you can build kind of like automated traps that kind of help this out and make it much easier to do. Um, but I enjoy kind of like the challenge of it as well as, you know, just kind of the danger of creepers and skeletons. Some of the more dangerous overworld mobs uh, coming at you at the same time. Now, if you do this just right, I could run directly at the skeleton, and he might shoot over my head and shoot the creeper. Ah, it didn't work. And so now, I just need to kind of switch things around so the creeper gets in front of the skeleton. And, and, oh darn the creeper! Whoa! Alright, sprinting away, I need to deal with the skeleton, or the skeleton, the spider. And now let's try this again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! I don't believe it. I believe he just dropped cat again. Did he really just drop cat again? Oh, I didn't even pick it up because my inventory is full, which is not something I anticipated or thought about. I do not need a half slab. Which I just picked back up again. Yep, cat and cat. All right. And I'm going to need to empty out some inventory, and we're about two-thirds the way through the night, and so far I've only managed to get two records. Boo! All right, I'm doing this pretty slowly. All right, zombie, we can just kill. Oh, I need to eat. Uh, I'll, there's another creeper over here, so you go ahead and blow up. I will eat some food to get back up to full health, and then we'll try to work with this creeper. Oops. I'm not... Like, I've always had trouble sprinting, but it's definitely more difficult now in 1.3. And here's a skeleton. All right, great. Hey, skelly. Overshoot me. You missed. You missed me. You missed the creeper. You're good for nothing. Oh, crap, crap. No. Ooh, stayed away. Stayed away. All right, we have a spider who fortunately runs faster than everybody else. And so let's give him a head start, and then we can kill him. And now, and now, and now... Ah, oh, skeleton mist. I'm getting backed up against something. All right. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Crap. The skeleton is a little bit too far away from the creeper, and so I need to try to reorient things. So, oop, crap. Darn it. No, no! <laughs> ah, danger, danger, danger. All right. While I'm in danger, I will kill off some bad guys. All right, here's another skeleton. And there's a bunch of creepers and a skeleton. And so, let's see if we can do this. All right, one, two, three. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Ah, got hung up on backing up into this. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, there's a creeper over there. The sun is going to be rising soon, and then my skeletons are all going to disappear. 
And so I want to try to hurry, even though I don't have all of my hearts back yet. Oh, and there's another... Ooh, I got a few too many enemies over here. All right, let's... I only need one skelly. So let's get rid of you. Crap! Uh, skeleton fell in a hole, and did the creeper blow up the other creeper? Darn it, darn it, darn it. All right, this was a pretty poor showing. An entire night, and I'm only going to get two records out of it, it seems like. I have one more shot. All right, one... Two. Darn it. Ugh. You are useless. Useless. Do you hear me? Ugh. Actually, I'm the useless one. All right. Well, perhaps that was just warming up. Maybe we'll try this again tomorrow night. Maybe I'll just go mine some more coal during the day. Um, actually, the skeletons will be on fire for a little while. I wonder if I could try to get one more. There's another creeper over here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, crap. I'm going to blow him up. <laughs> yep. Brian is just no good at this. All right. Well, what have we learned? We learned that Brian is no good at the record farming thing, at least not without some more practice. Can I at least get the skeleton to shoot the spider? No. Nope. Skeleton just dies. All right. Well, I'm going to go mine some more coal during the day, uh, possibly do a little caving, and then we'll come back at night and we're going to try this once more. Um, I'm also going to make a chest to put some excess inventory in to make sure I have inventory room to pick up the records. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's the next sunset. I got some more coal. I'm up to almost a stack. Got a little bit of iron downstairs as well. And it just occurred to me I have something that I enjoy using that could probably help me out. Basically, if I drink a potion of swiftness, it will be much easier to kind of run away from the creepers before they try to explode in my face. And so I think I'll have better odds with that. And so that is my plan for tonight, but I will make a quick cut until the monsters start spawning, and then I'll see you in a moment. All right, and the monsters have begun to appear. Unfortunately, there are some caves, like, right underneath the ground over here. I heard what sounded like a creeper walking on stone a moment ago. And there's a spider below me somewhere, I'm pretty sure, as well. Uh, and so I can't... Oh, I was going to drink the speed potion, right. Great. Um, so I can't rely just totally on my ears to locate all of the monsters. All right, you need three hits. One, two, three. You can just die. And now we need to find a skeleton to pair you with, and I see one over here. You're still following me. Great. Skeleton, do you see me? Hello, skeleton. There you go. He sees me. Great. Come this way. Let's kill the... Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> wow, I got launched high into the air. I didn't think the creeper was following me anymore, and so I kind of let myself lose track of him. And it turns out I got close enough to where uh, the creeper got some interest in me again. Um, yeah, this is eventually going to be doing a number on my armor, although I expect I'm still doing okay, because I started out with fantastic iron armor. Oop, 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 getting some fraps lag all of a sudden. That does not help. All right, you've been hit three times. So we're going to keep our eye on you. Oh, come on, Fraps. Don't start losing all my frame rate now. It's like going down into the 20s and the teens. Oh, dear. This is not a good time to stop playing or recording. All right. Seems to be coming back. Come on, skeleton. All right. Let me get away and circle around so that you guys get a little bit closer together. Take a shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. Yes. And that is far, I believe. Uh, and now I really need to redo, uh, I need to stop my recording because, uh, Fraps is going crazy here. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully this will go better now. Uh, let's see, where is the disc? Where is the kill that we just got? I thought he dropped far, but now I've gotten spun around, so where was that? Hello? I would like to pick up my music disc now, please. Uh, I see... Hmm. I see experience orbs over here. Uh, where is that music disc? Darn. Yeah, I feel very unprofessional whenever I have to go and call out that I'm stopping the video because my fraps is dying. Um, yeah, I actually have plans this weekend to get myself a new solid state disk drive that I think is going to help alleviate those problems. Uh, really, I just, I was right around here. We brought the creeper and the skeleton together. I killed him. He dropped a disc. Oh, I picked it up. 
And it's Ward. All right, I don't recognize this that well, apparently. Ward has the kind of, like, uh, creepy beginning, and then, uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty good disc. And so that is good. All right, let's try to do this again. So, yeah, hopefully I will be getting a new disk drive soon. And so we will have fewer problems when it comes to fraps all of a sudden kind of crapping out on me. All right, skeleton, start chasing me. Got a creeper chasing me as well. And now I need to kind of come at you at an angle so that you two become closer together. And now shoot at him. Oh, he missed. Crap, crap. <laughs> that was still not good play by Brian. But that's okay. We have speed potions, and now it's much easier to go find another creeper to lure. Of course, there's a second creeper over here. That could be good or it could be bad. This guy has three. Oh, crap. Go, oh, crap, crap. Ah, darn it. Oh, and I'm going to die. Now would be a good time to retreat to my safer torchlit area for a moment and regain some health. Uh, if no one is chasing me, I'll also take a quick look at the armor. Helmet's about to go, but it's still in good enough shape. It'll last for the rest of the night. We're already kind of two-thirds of the way through the night, but I only managed to get one disc so far. Um, so we're still doing pretty poorly in that category. And I think there was a creeper right here, and I think he just despawned. Bummer. Um, all right, let's go ahead and kill off these spider- Oh, no! Oh, I'm so unprepared. Um, I would have to smelt more iron. All right, we are going to use a pick now. And I don't know how many hits it takes to kill an enemy with a pick. So let's go find out. One, two, three, four. That only took four. I don't think that's right. It is a diamond pick versus an iron sword. I will try hitting the creeper three times with the pick and then have a skeleton shoot him, but I'm not sure he's going to be dead yet. We will see how that goes. But yeah, I can't afford to stop. All right. Three hits. We got two skeletons here. One of them should shoot him. Maybe. Three skeletons. Four skeletons. Skeletons everywhere. Would one of you please shoot the creeper? The creeper must be shot. Do you see all these skeletons? One of them has got to shoot this creeper. All right, we got to miss. There. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I really should have seen that coming. All right, three hits with the pick was not enough for the creeper. Um, yes. All right, great. So we definitely need to make sure that the creeper is sufficiently weakened. So let's try four hits with the pick. The sun, or sorry, the moon is about to set, which means the sun will be about to rise. It's not astronomy, but that's Minecraft. Um, there is no easy way to separate you two that I can think of, other than just trying to kill one of you, but not the other. All right, I think you each need one more. Oh, crap, 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 now I'm in trouble. Darn it. Oh, dear. These are the types of episodes that I consider just cutting all the footage and not airing. But no, we've got to air them. It's the truth. This is what has happened to Brian today. Um, but yes, I'm always... I mean, I guess I shouldn't be. Like, I don't have to be, like, awesome at the game. But, like, I like to be good at the game, and I'm trying to get better at the game. And I'm just kind of disappointed uh, when I'm trying to do something that involves skill. And I fail... All right, now he's sufficiently weakened. Come on, before before he dies, before he dies. One more arrow, come on. You can do it, skeleton. You can do it, you can do it. Yes! And that is Stall. And Stall is a jazzy record, which I do want. It is Stall, right? Yes! All right, fantastic. And so this night we did manage to get two more records, and this time there are two records that I actually wanted. Uh, and so that's good. That makes me feel like I can end on a little bit of a successful note, um, as opposed to the failure that I'd had up until then. I definitely could continue to uh, improve this particular skill, um, but that was fun. I definitely enjoy kind of running around with mobs chasing me. I should eat some food to regain some health. Although now that the sun has come up, I am in much less danger. I'm not going to be able to block with a record here, uh, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to carry these things back. I have plenty of diamonds at the base over here. Hello, zombie in the water. 
And yeah, I will gather up some in other inventory that I put away in a chest over here, and I will meet you guys back at the base. And uh, yeah, I'll check on the time, but at this point, if um, this episode is pretty much done, we might just listen to some records on the way out. Um, oh, and my speed potion just wore off. That's good timing as well. All right, I'll see you guys back at the base. All right, so we can call that trip a success, since we did get four records, including two that I actually wanted to get. Um, but now... We need to play those records, and so let's do something, create something that I very rarely craft in Minecraft, a jukebox with a diamond in the middle, and we've got plenty of diamonds at this point. And so I think for now I will leave the jukebox out on the front lawn of the house uh, so that I have it around if I'm just doing some farming and things, and we can always pick it up and do other things. And while I'm very fond of stall, I'm going to play Ward, because I believe Ward is the favorite disc of 3-2. Uh, creator of such maps as Vinyl Fantasy, Vinyl Fantasy 2, and Cluster Chunk. Um, yeah, and I think 3-2 likes this tune, and so 3-2, in honor of you, I'm playing Ward today. And speaking of map makers, um, I have recently been watching a couple of people playing through the map Uncharted Territory. Uh, Etho, I guess most famously, is currently playing through it, um, but also Simon Mel, uh, who is someone who played through Vinyl Fantasy 2 uh, amazingly without dying. Um, compare that to what Uge is doing right now. Um, and so I'm watching both of those guys play through this new map, Uncharted Territory. Um, and it's a very good map, is my opinion. Like, I've only seen a third of it so far, um, but this guy, another Minecraft LP, uh, seems to have created a very good map. Like, I would put it, probably, based on what I've seen so far, better than Vinyl Fantasy 2, although I think I like the original Vinyl Fantasy better, um, than this Uncharted Territory map so far. Um, but yes, creative, very good-looking visuals, seems like it's got good balance and is fun to play. Um, seems like kind of like a medium difficulty, based on what I've seen so far. Um, and yeah, I'm always glad for uh, there to be a good community of map makers that is creating good maps for the Minecraft community. Um, because in the future, I'm sure that I'll want to play some maps. I'm not really in the mood to start taking on some maps immediately right now, uh, but I definitely enjoy playing Minecraft maps. And so having maps by another Minecraft LP in addition to 3-2, and of course Vex, um, is good for me because it just means there'll be more choices available to me in the future. And let's see, are there any other things that I need to talk about today? I don't know that there are. Um, I definitely need to remember next time I go record farming to bring a spare iron sword, uh, because I'm going to spend a lot of time hitting enemies. Oh, I didn't even notice. I'm up to level 16. And, oh, I know the other thing that I wanted to talk about. So last time that we were over here, I started doing some caving over there. And unfortunately, I ended up under the ocean. And when you're in an ocean biome, you don't get emeralds. Whereas if you're in the extreme hills biome, you do get emeralds. And so I think for our next caving expedition, I'm going to start somewhere over here and kind of like dig down into the mountain this way. So that we'll be more kind of directly in the extreme hills biome. We've got a bit of the area that's kind of like underneath here lit up right now. But there's a whole lot more that we could light up both to collect resources and to find that oh so rare and precious emerald ore that I can mine with silk touch because Brian likes rare blocks. And this second act uh, on the record ward is one of my favorite parts as well. So I'll just go silent and we can listen to this to play us out.
So I really like the end of that song. Um, that could be good music. I've been thinking about getting different music for like an intro to different series, and like that could be good music as an intro. It sounds better as an outro, I think. Um, but yes, that was Ward. I was trying to dance there, and then you probably saw it on the screen. Like all of a sudden, Fraps just decided, oh, frame rate. You don't want frame rate, Brian. Surely three frames per second is just what you need because there's so much complicated stuff happening on the screen. I don't know, Fraps. I'm pretty sure it's my my disc. I think getting a better disc is going to fix it. In any case, I don't want to spend time talking about that. Uh, I want to spend time playing Minecraft on the screen. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, next time I think we might do some more uh, caving in the extreme hills here. I'm not sure. So I hope you guys are having a great day. See you soon. And just to mention, for people who wonder how I get the good title screens that go with the particular episode, well, I'll show you. It's pretty simple.